Come along with Rietta, Annie, and Stoney as we move the cattle to fresh pasture. There's plenty of action packed in this video with runaway cattle, a runaway dog. Not everything goes perfect, but we had fun and we got the job done. Moving the cattle is not always as simple as just opening the gate to the next pasture. For this move, we have to cross through intersecting pastures, gates, and roads. There's only one right way the cattle are supposed to go to get there, and it's up to us to guide them. Here we have the cattle headed across an earthen bridge to get over the creek. Our goal is to end the move with showing them where the fresh new water source is, and then allowing them to spread out and enjoy the large pasture. Rietta is a two and a half year old hanging tree cow dog. Stoney is almost a year and a half old hanging tree cow dog. Last but not least, Annie, a four year old hanging tree cow dog. Well there you have it, that's the crew. Now let's get her done. To begin with, we are going to send just Annie out to gather the cattle and get them grouped up. The commands I give Annie at this time are hunt em up and on out. Let me quickly tell you a little bit about when I got Annie. I manage a ranch in South Dakota. There are times it's hard to find help and it's not always easy to move large numbers of cattle by yourself. So after seeing how useful cow dogs were for other people, I did a little research and learned about hanging tree cow dogs. Ever since, I've been hooked. Although I'd had dogs before, I never really learned how to use them to their full potential or how useful a good bred cow dog really was. Although it's still a growing process, I sure am enjoying learning the art of using a cow dog. It's the beginning of March here. We didn't have much snow at all this winter, which made it easy to keep the cattle in good condition. In a few more weeks, they'll start calving. I'm looking forward to when all the green grass will start to grow and praying for rain, as we are really dry at this time. One of the reasons I didn't send the other two dogs out is they take a few more commands to get them to understand to go all the way out around and gather. In the process of correcting them and giving them commands, it can cause Annie to think that she might be doing something wrong. I do look for opportunities for the other dogs to learn how to gather also. Look for future videos of Stoney and Rietta gathering on their own. Because I compete with my dogs, I like them to learn to think independently of the other dogs instead of learning to just follow the leader. That being said, there are still lots of times I like to work them all at once so that they can help each other and back each other up when it gets tough. Once Annie gets most of them grouped up, I send Rietta to help her as we head out of the hills down to the valley to the gate that leaves this pasture. When it looks like they're going smooth, I'll send Stoney out to join them. All right, it's time to send Stoney out. Although my drone operator didn't realize I was hoping he would capture me sending Stoney to the back, he got some pretty cool footage and then ended up at the back about the same time Stoney did. These dogs are always looking to see if the cattle are getting away from me. Their favorite thing to do is get ahead and stop them. We want to drop them down in this draw, so we're going to let... Hey! Get back now! Good! That's what we wanted. The cows are definitely feeling good on this cool morning and enjoy kicking up their heels. Normally I don't like the cattle to just take off running like this, but the problem is they are going exactly where I need them to go. These cattle are just going to want to run away. Good boy. Tony's covering that side. Down! 
There! Down! Got all three of them. Get back! Get back! Good dogs! At this point, I send the dogs back to pick up the stragglers in the rear. There's a small group that the herd is splitting away from that are just standing in the back. The younger dogs are still a little too excited to go all the way back. They were thinking about wanting to get ahead of the herd and stopping them. But Annie knew exactly what I wanted. So I let her pick up the stragglers while I go on ahead on my side and using the other two dogs to control the other side. While we were waiting for Annie to bring the rest of these stragglers down, we let the cattle group up at the gate before opening it. Sometimes it's hard to know how I ever got along without these dogs. While we were waiting, I used the young dogs to keep the cattle from packing in this wedge-shaped corner. Annie and Rietta are pretty good at knowing that they need to bring the cattle all through the gate. Stoney is pretty sure the cattle are getting away from us and he takes off to get to the lead. It works out for good because I'm able to down him at just the right place to guide the cattle across the earthen bridge. I don't want the dogs crowding the cattle across too much, so I come back to down the dogs to ease up on the pressure. I end up staying in the back with the dogs for a little bit. Annie and Rietta are used to me working with them from any position, but Stoney gets confused and is sure the cattle are getting away from me, so he takes off for the lead before I can stop him. While I leave my position and take off to bring Stoney back, I leave Annie and Rietta with a big job. They have to bring the cattle through two gates with a right angle turn between them. Then they're going under a one-wire fence. I'm able to catch Stoney and get back just in time to help give the dogs guidance in getting these last few cows through the gate. The commands would have sounded something like this. There. Here. There. Walk up. There we go, now we're all back on track. I down the dogs and work my way back up to the lead position. Stoney's all ready to take off with me, so I down him again to give myself a good head start. Then I tell him, bring him on, as I take off for the lead. The stack yard you see in the background is one of several that we have. Even though we do winter grazing, we still have to supplement them with alfalfa hay and good quality grass hay. We're almost there. We just have one more gate to go through and then we're going to take them all the way to the water reservoir. Also, the drone ends up needing to go back for another battery and then catches up with us a few minutes later. I expect the cattle to be thirsty, 
All we're looking for now is for them to wrap around the dam and get down where they can drink easily. Even though there probably wasn't any need for it, I sent some of the dogs ahead to stop the cattle and hold them there for a little bit to keep them from passing it by. Then I call them back around and tell them that'll do and load them up. Go load up. Rieta, go load up. God has truly blessed me with such willing, happy, and hardworking helpers. Next, we look the cattle over one more time before leaving to let them spread out over the whole pasture. Two weeks later, the cattle are almost ready to move to the next pasture. But before we move them, we're going to gather them up and take them down to the corral and work them in preparation for calving. Stay tuned, video to come. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like them, please like and subscribe.